Hey everyone, it's Nate Picos of Blambot and welcome to, I guess, a mini version of Lettering Live. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you an action I've been working on in, in Adobe Illustrator to make uh, tapered balloon connectors. And I know that's probably something you think I should have been doing way before now, but um, I tend to just prefer my balloon connectors to be uniform at both ends, where, you know, where they connect to the first balloon and the second balloon. It's the same width. Um, purely a stylistic choice on my, in my case. Um, and I have an action set up to make these quickly where I can just draw a line, make a curved line, and ta-da, it becomes a balloon connector that I can just go in there and unite to my balloons. So I wanted to come up with sort of a similar way, a similar action to create a tapered balloon tail, which is, you know, the more traditional version. Um, it starts wider at the beginning balloon and tapers narrower at the terminal end, the, the second balloon. So I thought um, my best guess as to how to start this process for an action was to create a brush. So this is an art brush. Um, this black shape right here is just a rectangle um, that I modified. So either side of this rectangle is curved. It's got a slight curvature to it. And the narrowest point is actually right about here. It's sort of um, maybe two thirds of the way from left to right, right about here. And it, it sort of sl uh, slopes up a little bit at the ends. And I've, I designed this stupid object maybe eight or 10 times before I found that this created the most pleasing shaped uh, balloon connector. You know, I started out with just a rectangle that was narrower at one end, um, then just curves and then moving um, sort of the apex of the curves from the middle to the two thirds of the way and experiment after experiment until I got into this. And there's some work going on outside the studio today. So I hope that's not too annoying for you uh, in the background. Anyway, so here's where I got with this brush shape and what has to happen to turn and, and to make this action useful is to take this brush and turn it into an object once you've got it. So essentially I'm drawing that line like I did with my uniform balloon connectors. Um, then I have to turn it into that brush and then that brush has to be turned into an object um, that has a white fill, a black stroke, the black stroke over prints, and it drops to the back of all my balloons. And I do that as an extra little step at the end because I oftentimes have special strokes added to my balloons, um, whether it be other uh, art brushes or uh, even a calligraphic stroke added to it. If you drop your connector all the way behind your balloons and then you unite them together, the stroke, I mean, uh, the connector rather, takes on the properties of the balloons. So it'll have that that special brush you added to your balloons already without having you having to do anything else. Just a little bit of convenience. Any, any time you can save as a letterer is good. So how does this actually work? Um, oh, and also one more thing before we get into that. I wanted to make sure the, the tapering connectors are pretty close to how I usually size my tails where they join the balloon just for consistency's sake. And here's a good rule of thumb if you're lettering. Um, how do you keep your balloon tails where they connect to the balloon uniform throughout a book? Well, you can sort of, if you look at the font you're using for dialogue text, and you, one of these letters should be able to fit right in here, you know, usually the letter O or something, and fit snugly right in there. And that's how you can sort of visually uh, quickly measure the width of your balloon tails where they join the balloons. So I wanted to, to mirror that here a little bit so that I wouldn't have to think about resizing anything and, and make the whole action pointless if I'm spending that much time. So let's get on to it. So here are just these same balloons and with no, no connectors and the tails haven't been um, connected or anything. So just like the other, just like the uniform one, I'm gonna draw a line curve that line, and then apply that action key. And see how it dropped it behind and it did everything and it sort of arced that, uh, that curved rectangle shape into our connector. And I'd probably fiddle with this a little bit, like, oh, I wanna you know, bring it down or whatever. 
doesn't matter, whatever. So to continue, we do it again. Just draw your line, hit your action key, and there's your connector. So this one I might fiddle with a little bit until I'm happy with it. But And the final one right here drops it back behind. So you get the idea. So then, you know, the final step would be to grab these shapes and unite them impermanently. Same thing with these sets of balloons. And that's it. I mean, if you wanted to go the extra step and make sure your balloons are uh, in a, a uniform order, whereas this balloon is behind this one, this one's behind this one, and this one's behind this one, you can use intertwine now. We have this fancy new um, object intertwine make and it would be this one right here that we'd have to flip over to back but that's it um if you've got a better idea of how to automate all this i'm all ears drop me a line uh, but in the meantime i'm going to continue to play with this thanks for joining me